and then surra surirtu i was pleased are you with me i had written it down uh, i hope you will remember or if i get another opportunity i will again write it down uh, to explain you in in, in a in a in a nice way the the use of sarra it's important uh, otherwise we always remain confused you know masrurun huh? that is the ism of fool huh? masrurun he who is pleased huh? he who is pleased fine brother remember book 2 lesson number 1 ana masrurun bi likaika i am happy to meet you ha huh? fine brother and sister kasara maksurun that received the action of the kasara broken now brother and sisters al kalamu maksurun book 1 lesson number 1 Uh, but now we understand how the maksurun is made it is coming from kasara and it is ismu maf'ul i think we did it in uh, lesson number 3 al kalamu maksurun uh, fine brother and sister the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la ta'ata oh brother this is so beautiful ta'ata this is la annafiyatu lil jins Did I explain you this before? No. La an nafiyatu lil jins. Okay, if I did not, then I won't do it now, huh? because it will take a lot of time for me to give you a thorough uh, uh, understanding of la an nafiyatu lil jins. And brothers and sisters, this is one of the most beautiful style of Arabic language. I should say the most and the uh, beautiful, most beautiful. this is the most beautiful and the most important uh, expression in in arabic language see the first words of allah subhanahu wa taala la ilaha you know what is this la ilaha and if you really don't know the meaning of this this expression brother you have missed out you have missed out la ikraha الدين الف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب ذيس ار اول لا نافيه للجنس ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا تاكت what are, what is going on here we got to understand this is the most one of the most beautiful things i should say in arabic language it is not in any other language okay that is why the 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 kufars of makka were astounded they were shocked when they heard la ilaha illa huwa or illa allah this was the most you know kind of a, a, a heavy duty punch on their their beliefs you know because they used to believe in all those deities you know 360 or more and one statement there is no deity in this whole universe worthy of worship except allah so if we understand this you know then alhamdulillah you will be so pleased you know and every time you say la ilaha you know what's going on in the sentence and what you are saying huh? inshallah we'll we'll learn very soon inshallah but i did not explain you this before in the class no, no i will try inshallah next time okay brother la taata absolutely no obedience of any kind huh li makhlukin for the crea- creation huh huh fi masati khaliqi if it amounts to disobeying the creator you cannot obey anybody else if your obedience uh, to somebody else who is cre- who has been created uh, brothers and sisters what did i say if your obedience to someone who has been created amounts to the disobedience of allah subhanahu wa taala 
No. I had, but no, no, see, I cannot express the, the intensity and the power unless I understand one thing. What is it? La, ta, a, ta. See, it is ta, a, ta, mansub. No, no alif lam there and no tanween there. Brother, if, if it is, if it is not alif lam in front, then there should be tanween. If there is no tanween, then there should be alif lam. That's the rule we have learned. But in this particular case, there is no alif lam and there is no tanween. So what kind of a noun is this? It is mansub, I can see. I can see fata. It is mansub. Why it is in this particular situation and in particular fashion? Huh? Because of the la. And what kind of a la is this? It is called la and nafiyatu. Law of negation. Lil jins means it negates the, everything in that species. The, the English word for jins is genus. And when you read in the dictionary genus, you'll be surprised. Brother? Okay. In this creation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put everything in, in the form of species. We are human beings, brother. Maybe our colors are different, but uh, still we are same. Our bloods are, blood is same. Are you with me? When you see cats, it's a species. When you see dogs, that is a species. When you see fish, birds, they are all species. These examples are not in the book, but you can think about it. When you understand the meaning of la and nafiyatu lil jins, brothers and sisters, we can think about more examples. Okay, that is the meaning, brothers and sisters. Okay? See, so it is, Makhlukin means one who has been created. And Khalik means the one who is the creator. No creature has to be obeyed if it involves disobedience to the creator. That is the very powerful hadith, you know. Okay, another interesting thing, brothers and sisters. Ma ana bi gafilin amma tamalu. This is another beautiful thing in Quran, brothers and sisters. What kind of ma is this? This is called Ma al Hijaziya. Huh? I am not unmindful of what you are doing. This Ma is called Ma al Hijaziya. Huh? And acts like? Okay, brother. Next thing's easy. Huh? What is the speciality of Laisa? Okay. It has an ism and it has a khabar. And Laisa, khabar is always mansuk or it can be majroor with B. Huh? Ana lastu bi ganiyan. Huh? Or ana lastu ganiyan. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? That is the case it is. Huh? So, ma exactly, exactly behaves like that. Okay? And it is very important for us to understand. So that we can understand the sentences in the Quran, which are ma al Okay? Sentence which conveys... The, the meaning of Ma al Hijaziya. Okay, brothers and sisters. Fine. It is used in nominal sentence. Oh, fine, brothers and sisters. And after its introduction, the khabar is rendered mansub, like Laisa. The khabar may also take an extra harfjar, ba, huh? and rend, rendering it majru. So when it takes ba, we will say majrurun lafzan and mansubun mahlan. Huh? When we have to explain it, inshallah. Huh? We have in the Quran, ma haza basharan. Huh? Who said this? This is from the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. Huh? Okay, when the ladies... Uh, who, were invited to the house of where, where Yusuf salam was. And when they saw, they said, he's not a human being. Ma haza basharan. Okay, brother. This is ma al hijaziyatu Yamalu amala laisa. Yamalu amala laisa. That's the job of laisa. Uh, so, brother, what is haza? Ismu ma al-hijaziyatu. What is it? Marfoon. 
Are you with me? So you will say, Hada ismu ishara, mabnun ala sukun fi mahali rafa'in ismu ma'al hijaziya. Fine, others, brothers and sisters. And what is basharan? Khabaru ma'hijaziya mansubun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So this is, this is not a human being. Here the khabar is mansub. We also have example of the khabar having ba. Wama al Allahu amma tamaluna. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, where is the ismu? Mahijazia? Uh, Allahu. Where is the khabar mahijazia? Bigafilin. Majrurun, lafzan, and mansubun, mahlan. Inshallah, you will remember. That's the end of the story, brother. That's all we are going to learn in lesson number four. It's very interesting, inshallah. Huh? Okay, and look at every dialogue, huh? every dialogue in the sentence. I, I want you to take a note of it, brother. Al Barau, what is the meaning of Barau? Innocent. Huh? Innocent. What is the meaning of Al Barau? Innocent, brother. Also, it means free. Also, it means free from any blame. Huh? Or Clear. Nuridu an narifa natijatal khtibari shahriyi ya ustad. Translation, brother. We want to know the result of the monthly examination, ya ustad. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Al khtibar. What is the what kind of a word is this? Ikhtibar. This is form? Form 8. Huh? Uh, ikhtibar. Iftial. So it is a master. <coughs> what is the verb? Ikhtabara yakhtabiru. Are you with me? Ikhtabara yakhtabiru. Yakhtabiru. Also it means same thing as imtahana yamtahinu. Imtihan. Ikhtibar means imtihan. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Both of them are from form 8. Fine. Okay, brother. Al-Harifu. If you want to write it down, brother, next to it. Harasa Yaharuthu. What is it? Harasa Yaharusu. Write down on the side. Means that is the verb and what is Al-Haris? Ism uh, uh, farmer, yes, but it's some file. One who tells the field, brothers and sisters. Come, Rasiban. Come has come, brother. What is Rasiban? Tamiz. No, brother. Rasiban. Look at it. What is Rasiban? It's some file. Are you with me? Now, Dr. Abdurrahim is going to ask us, go back to the lesson. It's Takhraj Minad Darsi. A small uh, file in a small mafur. Lina, but we do it right away from the beginning. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, you, when you see Isam Fahil or Isam Maful, you will also see or identify the verb Madi and Mudariya. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, brother, that's why I say Haris. What is the verb? Harasa Yahruthu. Bab Nasara. And when I say Rasiban, Rasaba, Yar subu, bab nasara. Yar subu. Okay, all these things should be uh, noted down. Sister Sumaya, is it clear? Inshallah. Kam rasiman fi faslina ya ustaz. Translation, brother. How many failed in our class, ya ustaz? Kulukum najihun. Alhamdulillah, everybody passed. So, Kullukum. What is Kullu? Muqtada. Wa huwa mudaf. And Kum, mudafili. And where is the khabar? Najihu. Okay, but then Na, Ji, Hun. So, what is this? Isam Fahil. What is the verb? Najaha, Yan, Jahu. Yan, Jahu. Interesting, brothers and sisters? 
It's very interesting. You will love it. Uh, inshallah. Nahnu masruruna. Uh, we are very happy. Huh? What is masruruna? Jama muzakar salim. So what is singular? Masrurun. Now what is masrurun? Ism maf'ul. What is it? Ism maf'ul from sarra yasurru. Sarra yasurru. Sarra is mudaf. Huh? Where the ain kalima and lam kalima are identical. Fine. Hal min rasibin fil fusul lil ukhra. Are there any failures in the other classes? Is it clear, brother? Again, Rasibin came, you know. Naam. Walakin al Rasibina. Oh, 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 see how beautiful the sentence is. Walakin al Rasibina. But what is Rasibina? Ismo lakinna mansub. It has to be mansub, so it became from. Rasibun, it became Rasibuna, and from Rasibuna it became Rasibina. So see, we can understand now. Can you imagine the same thing will happen when you will be studying Quran? You will be able to understand what goes on, brother. Huh? Huh? Few. Few. Kalilun is also Jama Mudakar Sahabi. Walakin al Rasibina, but the failure. The people who failed are few. Are you with me, brother? Muhammad? Yes. The people who failed are few. Man katibu haza ala saburati. Who is the writer of this? Okay. Are you with me? Katib is the? Uh, is the ismu file. Huh? But what is katibu haza? Mudafilehi. Haza is Mudafili, writer of this. Uh, Brother Samad, Abdul Samad, Haza here is Mudafilehi. Uh, Manadri means we don't know. Uh, Brothers and sisters. Wajad nahu. See, Wajad nahu maktuban. We found it written. Now, Brothers and sisters, remember, Wajada yajidu. Can also have two maful on bihi. Okay? So, brother, where is the verb? Wajad. What is na? File. Huh? Okay? Who is maful on bihi? Number one. And maktuban is maful on bihi? Number two. Huh? This is very interesting lesson. We will make you very strong. Okay? Maktuban, sister Arifa. What is maktuban? Maful. Lun. You have to keep in your mind the pattern. Fa'ilun and maf'ulun. This pattern should be in front of our mind. Huh? So makdubun is kataba, yaktubu, wahua katibun, and maktubun means something written. Okay? In dama, when dakhalnal fasla, when we entered the class, we found it written, we Entered the class. Yuturaku al faslu. Yuturakul faslu. What is the meaning of this? The classroom is left. Majhul. Uh, yuturaku is majhul. Taraka yatruku. Uh, so yatruku became yuturaku. Uh, al faslu. Classroom is left maftuhan <coughs> open the classroom is left open huh? and so some students enter it min jihatin from different areas or sites muhtalifatin oh what is this muhtalifatin mu has come Ism file. What is the verb? Ikhtalafa. What is the verb? Uh, let me write it down, brother. Huh? Let me write down. Ikhtalafa. Huh? 
la fa. Huh? That is your verb, huh? And yach ta li fu. And isam file is mukh ta li fun. Huh? Fine. And what is the root, brothers and sisters? Kha la fa. This is your root. Okay, brothers and sisters? Maza naamalu. What is the meaning of maza naamalu? What shall we do? Well, kuflu maksurun. The lock is broken. Maksurun kasara yaksiru wahua kasirun wa maksurun. And okay, maftuhun. Fataha yaftahu wahua fatihun and maftu. It's easy, isn't it, brother? We studied these nouns in book one, but we dare not go in detail. But now you are ready to go in detail. Because now you have achieved a level of understanding which will make it very easy for you to understand all these things, inshallah. Hal min zahibin zahaba yazhabu wahua Zahibin, the person who is going. Hal min zahibin ila suq al yawm. Is anybody going to the suq today? Ghalib said, Ana zahibun, I am going inshallah. But then I forgot one thing. You see, Haris, we did it. What is the next? Mudaris, we know Mudaris, also is Mufail. But not from Fel Sulasi. Mujarat, but it is from Fel Sulasi Mazid. Darrasa, you darrisu, mudarris. But the Khalid, what is Khalidun? Fahilun. See, now this is the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim. Even the names that he is choosing, they are all his mufail. Isn't it wonderful, brother? Look at his farsightedness. Huh? Isn't it beautiful, brother? I, when I observe these things, I. I just, uh, you know, think of him as a, you know, an, a person who has a vision to teach us the language of the Quran. Khalidun, what is the word, brother? Khalada, yakhludu. Khalada, yakhludu. Fine, brother. And then what is the next name, brother? Hamidu. What is the verb? Hamida, yahmadu. Hamida, yahmadu. All these things. You should note it down, brothers and sisters. Okay. And now, brother, comes Ghalib. When you think of Ghalib, you think always of Mirza Ghalib. <laughs> okay. Ghalaba yaglibu. Wahua Ghalib. And then Maglub. And Hamidun. Hamida Yahmadu. Wahua Hamidun. And then Mahmud. Mahmud is coming from there. أنا ذاهب إن شاء الله المدرس أرجو أن تشتري يا remember أن تشتري I request you to buy what كفلان جيدا a good lock غالب إن شاء الله اقرأ لايات الواردة في الدرس يا عارف يا عارف عرف يا عارف وَهُوَ عَارِفُ هُوَ عَارِفُ وَهُنَا أُخْتُنَا عَارِفَ What is عَارِفَ? It's a file with Ta Marmuta. Are you with me brothers and sisters? You did not think of sister عَارِفَ as a Isam file? Alhamdulillah. See how beautiful and meaningful the names are. Now, Warida. Warida. What is Warida? Fa'ilun. What is the verb? Warada. Warada to mention. Warada to mention, brother. Fine, brother and sisters. Arif. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahir-Rahmanir-Rahim. Wasariku. 
Wasarikatu. See how it is? Sariku wasarikatu. So arifu wa arifatu. Okay, you got the idea? Faktau idea huma jazaan bima kasaba. Huh? Kasaba musanna. Goes to alif is the file, goes to sarik and sarikatu. Faktau filamar. Mabnunala has a fee noon. Got the idea, brother and sister? Alhamdulillah. Okay. What is this idea, Huma? What kind of a noun is this, Sister Madina? You should write it down. Huh? This is important. You should write it down. Huh? Okay, brother? Here is the singular. What is the singular? Yadun. And what is the plural? Aydin. What is Aydin? Mankus. Yeah. Huh? It is Mankus. Put Alif Lam. Hmm? Now, brothers and sisters, huh? when you make this noun Aydin Mansu, the Ya will come out. Are you with me? So it was I the ya huma their hands uh, both of them. I want you to understand yadun. The plural is aidin, uh, and if you put alif lam, it will become al aidi. But here, brothers and sisters, faktau and cut cut what we need mafulun bihi. So it became. Aidiya, mafulun bihi, and huma is mudafilehi. Aidiya mafulun bihi, wa huwa mudaf, and huma is mudafilehi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Huh? You got the idea? Inshallah. Mashallah. Inna ka kahriyun jayidun. Brothers and sisters, inna ka. You know what is ka here? Kariyun. What is kariyun? Ismu file from Kara Yakrau Wahua Kariun Awa Makruun something which is red. Lam Asmaka. I did not hear you Takraul Quran Amin Kablu. I did not hear you recite the Quran before. Ahafizun Anta Hafizun. What is Hafizun? Hafiza Yafazu Wahua Hafizun Wa my father. See how easy and beautiful it is, brothers and sisters. Fine. Naam. Then Mudaris is saying to Ma Anabi Gafilin Amma Tamalu Ya Mansur. So, in one sentence, we got two things Gafilun, Gafala, Yagfulu. Uh, gafala, yagfulu, okay. Bahuwa uh, gafilun. Now, brothers and sisters, as I said, when you see the hallo tamarin, all these things are there. Uh, so, you can also check your answers later on whether uh, the mudarya is bab nasara or daraba or fatah. The, the key will guide you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine, brother. So that was Ghafil is ismu file from Ghafala. What about Mansur? Nasara Yansuru Wahua Nasirun Wa Mansur Ismu Maful So here comes Mansur. So again the name which has a meaning in it that it is Ismu Maful. Arju an Tasmahali Bil Khuruj Fa inni Uridu an Azabaila Nasikin. وَإِنِّي أُرِيدُ أَنْ أَزْهَبَ إِلَنْ نَاسِخ Okay. أَرْجُوا أَنْ تَحْسْمَحْ لِي بِالْخُرُوجِ فَإِنِّي أُرِيدُ أَنْ أَزْهَبَ إِلَنْ نَاسِخ What is the translation, brother? I request you to permit me uh, to, to exit because fa, فَإِنِّي It means because I want to go to registrar. Huh? 
Nasik has two meanings, brother. Okay, what is Nasik? It's in file. Nasakha. Huh? Yan Sahu. Bab Fataha. Nasakha Yan Sahu. Okay, brother. It also means copier, one who copies. But it also means registrar in a school or a university. Are you with me, brothers? Okay, I want to go to the Nasik. La Asma Laka Bizalik. La La Asmahu Laka Bizalik. I won't permit you with that. Ala Tarifu, don't you know? Anna al Khuruja. Ala Tarifu. Anna al Khuruja. Fi Athna Darsi during the lesson. Mamnu'un. Mamnu'un. Mana'a yamna'u wa huwa mani'un wa mamnu'un. Brother, tell me, isn't it easy? Lawfully, brother. We knew these things, but now we are learning how these nouns are made. Mashallah. Mashallah. Mansur. Ana Asifun. What is the meaning of Ana Asifun? I'm sorry. So Asifun is a ism file. What is the verb? Asifa. Huh? What is the verb? Asifa. Huh, brother? Asifa. Ya. Safu. Got the idea, brother and sisters? Alhamdulillah. To be sorry. Okay. Fine, brother and sisters. Atathkurul haditha al waridata fi das sabiki. Can you mention the hadith which is mentioned? Fiddarsi Sabik. Sabik. Sabaka Yasabiku. To proceed. Uh, to come before. Uh, sabaka. Write down by the Sabaka Yasabiku. Uh, all these things will help you because now you are increasing your vocabs. You are increasing your vocabs. Uh. Okay, brothers and sisters. Ataskur Haditha can also mean, do you remember? Do you remember the Hadith mentioned in the previous verse? Naam an Sahil ibn Saidin an in Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala. Brother, this is one of the most beautiful Hadith. Huh? Very beautiful Hadith. Ana وَقَافِلُ الْيَتِيمِ أَنَا وَقَافِلُ الْيَتِيمِ What is the meaning of قَافِلُ الْيَتِيمِ? Who looks after the orphans. So beautiful, brother. Who looks after the orphans. Huh? Not only feeds them, but provides them with shelter or arranges a shelter for them, their clothing, their education. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Hmm? So Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, I and the person who looks after the orphan, Fil Jannati, they will be both together. I mean that person in the Jannah will be with Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who is that person? Who takes care of the orphan. Such a beautiful uh, guidance we get from this Hadith, you know. Hakaza. What is the meaning of Hakaza? Like this. Huh? And then, Ashara. What is the meaning of Ashara? What kind of verb is this? Form 4. Ashara, Mudarya, Yushiru. Huh? And it's some file, Mushirun. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? So, Ashara means to point out. And he pointed out, this huh? Sababati. Well, huh? Wusta. Uh, he opened it. Wa farraja. What is the meaning of farraja? To open it wide. Uh, like that. Uh. Bainahuma. Uh. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You opened it wide. Uh. Uh. Okay. Muttafakun alayhi. What is the meaning of muttafakun alayhi? It is mentioned by both Imam Bukhari and Imam. Muslim. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Asanta ya Mansur. 
You did very well, ya Mansur. Huh? Arju on Takuna. Oh, see, brother. What a beautiful sentence. Arju on Takuna. I wish you be, be what? Be what? Samian. <laughs> Listen properly. Lid Darsi. Listen to the Dars properly. Va Fahiman Lahu. And understand it very well. So Samian, what is this, brother? Samia Yasmau Vahua Samian. Wa Masmu'un. Fahima Yafahamu Vahua Fahiman and Mafuhum. Something that has been understood. Interesting, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We will continue, inshallah. Please read the key. Because this lesson will finish quickly. Huh? And then we can proceed with lesson number 5 on Monday, inshallah. I urge you to read the key, book 3 key, every single day. Before you come to the class, before you retire for the night, read a little bit, brothers and sisters. Even half a page, page is good enough. Huh? And you will just increase your understanding and make yourself more strong. Rabbana... آتینا فی الدنیا حسنتا و فی الاخرتی حسنتا و کینا عذاب النار ربنا حب لنا من ازواجینا و ذریاتینا قررت آیون و جعلنا للمتاکین اماما ربنا ظلمنا انفسنا اللم تغفر لنا و ترحمنا لا نکنن من الخاسرین ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت تواب رحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين